Hi, and welcome back to the Sports Hall of Fame for another episode of the Green and Gold Show. I'm your host, Daniil Ansami. With me today is Tashi Macapagal, Panda's volleyball alumni and current color commentary for the webcast, and Connor Hood, Sports Information Officer for the Golden Bears and Pandas. Let's start with the Pandas team, who are currently in third place with a great 14-4 and record. Tashi, what's working well for them right now? Uh, what's working well for them is they have a lot of depth on the team. Uh, they've got girls like Kirsten Peters who can come off the bench and step into situations critical to the game. They also have experience. They've got girls like Jesse Niles who's in her fifth year, Casey Otto, Carly Jansen and Meg Casso who are in their fourth years. Um, not only are they veterans but they've also got the experience of playing in a national championship game. Um, most athletes can't say that they've done that. Now, which pandas have stood out for you this season? Um, well, definitely there's Meg Casso. She's just been one of the top kill getters for the pandas in every game. Um, and she's proven to be one of the go-to players for them. She's, she sits in second in the country in kills and kills per set and, and third in points. So she's definitely, you know, that's evident of how much the pandas do rely on her. Um, then there's Jessie Niles. She just rules the backcourt. She has a knack for being able to get digs in crucial situations. And not in that, and she's, lead, she's fourth in the country in kills. Or sorry, in digs. <laughs> um, and then there's Bema Alotagun. She's, you know, you might not hear her name as often, but what you don't know is that she is actually an outside hitter that's been converted into a middle. And you know, middles, it, it, it's not an easy position to learn, like being one, but her versatility and her adaptability definitely is an asset to Lori. Now there's three weekend series left before the playoffs. What do you think the team needs to do to make sure they get on a nice roll right before playoffs? Um, well, Lori does a lot of good work on scouting and doing game plan, and the Pandas really just need to stick to that in their upcoming games. Uh, they need to settle into their identity, you know, they need to just be able to play their game and control the game so that they're able to play their style. Um, and just some continual improvement and, and not just in new things, but just make, solidifying what they know and what they are able to do right now. And I think their final three weeks really set up well for them too. 14-4 and four record, third in the conference, the number one seed may be out of reach, Trinity Western 17-1, and one, but they do play Regina who's 1-17. Calgary's 8 and 10, Winnipeg is 6 and 10, so their last three weekends really set up well for them. The Golden Bears are undefeated this season at 18 and 0, first place. What's working so well for them right now? They really play well offensively and defensively, and they lead the conference and the CIS in kills, assists, points, and blocks per set this year. 14 kills per set, 13 assists per set. They're absolutely dynamic offensively absolutely lethal and they've only lost five sets all year they haven't even been pushed past four sets yet haven't played a single five setter they're keeping fresh haven't played a lot and that sets up well for the rest of the year which bears have stood out for you this season i'm gonna go with brett walsh and john Gorenson. brett walsh leads the cis in assists per set 11.81 assists per set and he leads the cis with 697 assists considering they've only been pushed past three sets five times this year it's absolutely phenomenal sits third all time too in the conference with over 2700 assists which is absolutely phenomenal and john gorns in the middle for the bears kind of an overlooked player doesn't get a lot of the kills or assists the stats that people pay attention to but he's a great attacker a great server and a phenomenal blocker and they do lead the cis with 2.75 blocks per set this year now the Golden Bears back-to-back -back national champs going for the three-peat. Tashi, as a player, you got to four titles in a row as a player. Yeah. So you know what it's like. What do they have to do to make sure that they can get that three-peat or what mental state do they need to be in? You know, one of the things that you're, they're going to realize is that every team's going to be gunning for them. Every time they step onto the court, they're going to have targets on their backs. Um, right now, they just have to make sure that they play their game, stick to their game plan, much like the Pandas, um, and just make sure that they don't, you know, they're a high caliber team and they can't stoop down to the level that the other teams that are, they're going to be playing against. Next home games for the Golden Bears and Pandas are on Friday, February the 12th, 6 p.m. for the Pandas, 7.30 for the Golden Bears. For Tashi McApago, Connor Hood and myself, this is the Green and Gold Show and we'll see you next time.